Hi, my name is Elliot. I'm a 10th grader at Westside High School. Bada bing! Bada boom. And the name of my poem is Palette Cleanser. This poem isn't meant to be dissected, poked, or prodded. The words shouldn't be thought about for longer than a few moments. You want to remember the feeling instead. But of course, this poem won't come find you if you don't follow its instructions. The poem is a palate cleanser. So close your eyes, breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Keep all of your limbs and unhappy feelings in your seat. Prepare to be relaxed. This poem is snapping for you. The waters shine and glow with lily pads gracefully yet clumsily floating upon it matching the cottony clouds in the big blue of the sky and perfectly complementing the softness of the almost impossibly green hills. Sunshine illuminates every possible place, leaving a smile on every flower and blade of grass. Even the weeds have traded their usual sour expressions for less sour smirks and grins. Birds build their nests in each and every tree, singing a tune only known to them harmonizing with the bells of bikes and an ever so slight splish splashing from hungry fish who have just eaten, making crowds of tiny bubbles. Bees lazily flap from blossom to blossom, admiring the few colors they can see. But that's never gotten them down. After all, gray flowers still make the sweetest of honey. A mother bear and her cubs snuggle in their cave. It's too bright and early for them to wake up. So they savor the small moments in which light slides through the cracks of their home, making shapes in, on their walls and cinnamon sugar fur. Maybe they'll go out for a stroll later down by the pond and skip pebbles. That never really worked out, pebble skipping, but it was never about that. It was about seeing the mother's cubs play fight and roll down hills, having to pick the twigs and bugs out of their hair. Her cubs telling her goodnight and thanking her for the best day ever. The day hadn't started yet. But the mother wouldn't make it start. Those kind of things you have to let in. Like the sun happily seeping through the rocks of her home. The birds singing their morning tunes just because. The bees' fondness for flowers they couldn't see. And the mother bear's love for her cubs who couldn't skip pebbles. Next to the pond, in her cave, the mother bear holds her cubs close and goes back to sleep. Thank you.